Hello Oracles, it's Anne. I'm having to do my first voiceover with this video. I went to upload it and the audio was corrupted, so yay, you get to listen to a voiceover from me. So, this is my mix for Jerissa's uh, Girls Night Out group swap. I tried to upload this last weekend before she did the reveal, and like I said, um, the, the audio had got corrupted, so... Let's go ahead and dive right in. I started with a base of iridescence. Currently I'm adding in um, Betty Boop shaped spangles and a creamy white iridescent that kind of changes to a purple. I'm going to add quite a few of those in. And then uh, I will be adding in a pink iridescent Betty Boop. Um, I wanted to make this fun and playful and kind of just, you know, be a little different from hopefully the other ladies. That's always my goal is to try to not stay with the status quo of what you should do with glitter mixes, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, um, I absolutely adored this theme. Um, it was a great idea. I had so much fun making the little cards that this mix ended up going in. Um, I know Drissa said she loved it, and I know a lot of you ladies have commented saying it was a really cute idea, and I do appreciate all those comments, and thank you guys. Um, I try to be really creative and set myself apart. Um, I've always been that kind of a person, so. Um, the reason it's taking me a few minutes here to get the spangles in is because these Betty Boop spangles came in um, little, like, five gram pots, and they were, like, stuck together, like, from their cutting at the factory so I had to like individually like peel them apart or like um, move around in my fingers to break them apart otherwise they're really cute spangles um, they are thicker so if you ladies do get this mix um, be aware that they are in there and um, you know use one or two as a placement so you can kind of move them around so make sure you use a normal speed monomer or you know a slower setting monomer with your powders just so you have time to kind of move the spangles around um just a little tip um you know people who will use the fast drying monomers might not have enough time to manipulate betty boop spangles around so yeah <laughs> sorry guys this is really weird for me to be watching my video and talking over it so if I sound kind of weird or start making fun of myself, this, I mean, that would be why, so. Um, and again, I had the same problem with the hot pink Betty Boops that I did with the creamy white, which was they were stuck together, and I kind of had to take them apart, um, you know, and I tried to take them apart gingerly enough so I didn't lose arms or legs, <laughs> otherwise you would have no idea who she was. <laughs> it happens. Believe me, I lost, there were a few Betty Boop casualties in the making of this video, I'm sorry, but no real Betty Boops were harmed. Now I'm adding in a peachy to pink pearlescent hexy. it is a larger hexy. Um, I wanted to make this really girly and fun, since it is a girl's night out, um, you know, I just really look at things through color combinations and complementary colors to one another. Uh, I usually plan out my mixes as much as possible, um, so they come out looking very nice to me anyway. Um, I'm adding in some pearlescent black tinsel shreds, fibers, whatever you want to call them. Um, I particularly call them tinsel, and these are the shorter version. Um, there are longer versions of the tinsel. It just depends on your personal preference. I tend to not measure my mixes <laughs> so everything's really eyeballed so my mixes once they're made I really can't I can try to repeat them but they're never gonna really be the exact same I'm adding in a smaller pearlescent white hexy at this point as my camera goes out of focus because why not right at some point I know I'm gonna tap the screen so it goes into focus uh, and there we go <laughs> All right, so at this point I'm obviously mixing, as you can see, we're wake up, wake up, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, up, uh, up, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's my little beatbox for the day. Um, so <laughs> as I'm mixing this, of course, I'm evaluating sparkle and color combinations and 
um, the amount that I have, if it's going to be enough uh, for the swap and maybe extra for uh, my store. Excuse me, I'm yawning. <laughs> How awesome is that? So I decided it still needed some more pop and some more pizzazz to it. So I added some iridescent clear stars. Those are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I have to get some more. I am truly addicted to those stars. They are just gorgeous. They are kind of an AB star. They go from blues to purples to greens, as you guys can see. I'm going to add in some hot pink dots. I love my dots. I need more dots, guys. So if any of you guys out there have dot glitter, I would love to do a swap with you because I love dot shaped glitter. Don't know why. I just do. Adding in some clear AB iridescent hearts and some clear AB iridescent dots again. Um, this whole iridescent line um, was from Pooh Bear and Honey. I love it to pieces. I will have to be ordering a lot more from you <laughs> because I am in love with that. Um, also, I am adding in some glow-in-the-dark rhombus. I forgot to mark that on the package, so ladies, just know if you do get my mix in this group swap, it, it does have a glow element to it. So when you go to shut your lights off at night and you're like, oh my gosh, my nails are glowing, you're like, oh. <laughs> but yes, um, it is technically, I guess, a slightly glow mix, um, but since it's not really based in the glow glitter, I just didn't really see the point in putting it on there, really, so... But yeah, so I'm just going to give this one last mix, guys. Um, and I would like to thank Jarissa for letting me be a part of her swap. I had so much fun with this. Again, I can't wait to see what you other ladies came up with. Oh, I am just over the moon and so happy with all the success that I've had so far on YouTube. I want to thank you, all my subbies, for all your love and support. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me. Um, uh, without you, I don't know where I would be. Um, it's been absolutely amazing to get to know some of you and be a part of this. So, and last but not least, I added in some non iridescent white glitter to kind of finish the mix off. So guys, it's coming up on that time. So <laughs> Remember to always like, share, and subscribe. Turn that red button to gray. Make it a great day. And until we meet again, this has been Nail Oracle. Bye, ladies.